Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how to forecast the population by using the arithmetic increase method. Population forecasting technique is used to determine the probable population in the future which helps in, in making arrangement of water supply and sanitation system. There are various methods of population forecasting like arithmetic increase method, geometric increase method, incremental increase method decrease rate of growth method etc each method yields different values i'll be explaining all the methods and i'll be solving this same numerical by various methods in my upcoming videos so in this video we are going to see arithmetic increase method the drawbacks or the demerits of using this method are this method yields lowest value and it is mainly used for settled cities where the population growth in the past is not that much okay and again you you should also know that the factors affecting population are birth rate death rate migration factor and the industrialization or urbanization going on in the city if the industrialization is more it means that more employment is generated and hence the migration will be increased okay so this is just the basic overview regarding population forecasting let's proceed towards the numerical now so the question given here is predict the population for the year 2010 2020 2030 and 2050 from the following population data using arithmetic increase method so we have the year and the population from 1960 to 2000 and we have the population of that particular city in those years so now we have to calculate the population probable population in 2010 2020 2030 and 2050 using this data and we have to use the arithmetic increase method so first let's go through the formula of the arithmetic increase method okay this method is quite simple and uh, quick to solve but it is generally not used because of its drawbacks the formula is population n n means the year or the decade of which the population we need to know is equals to p plus n into i now here p n means population of the year to be calculated P is last known population, last known population, N is number of decades, and I is the average increase in population throughout the years, average increase in population throughout the years. So now first we will need to calculate i n and then we will be proceeding towards finding the values of the years 2010, 2020, 2030 and 2050. So first what we need to know is the average increase in population. So for that we, we have to calculate the increase in population decade wise. So I have made a third column over here, I will just write it increase in population. The first value will always be nil because we don't know the population of 1950. In the next column or the next row, the increase in population will be 30,500 minus 27,500. So 30,500 minus 27,500 gives 3,000. So this means from year 1960 to 1970, the population of that particular city was increased by 3,000. Similarly, next from 1970 to 1980, it will be 34,000 minus 30,500, which gives 3,500. Next, 1980 to 1990, 39,000 minus 34,000, the value becomes 5,000. And lastly, from 1990 to 2000, 
the increase in population is 45,000 minus 39,000 which gives us the value 6,000. Okay, so now we have calculated the increase in population but in the formula we need average increase in population. The average increase is calculated by using the formula i is equal to we have to add all this data total increase in population total increase in population divided by number of decades number of decades or number of years whatever the interval might be here the data is given decade wise so i am writing number of decades if it is given year wise 1960 1961 1962 then we will be taking number of years so what is the total increase in population we will be adding these values we will be adding these four values which is 3000 plus 3500 plus 5000 plus 6000 and now the number of decades so from 2000 to 1960 how many decades we have 60 to 70 first decade 70 to 80 second decade 80 to 90 third decade 90 to 2004 decade or in much easier way the number of values we are calculating average right so what are the total what are the number of observations 1 2 3 4 you can just, just divide it by 4 so here the ratio becomes 17500 divided by 4 if we solve this we get the value 4375 so this is the average increase in population throughout the years which is 4375 we have calculated i now we can proceed with the main formula to forecast the population of first let's just say 2010 so here first part of the solution population of 2010 i'll just write p2010 is equals to p plus n into i for p the last known population the latest population of the city that we know is 45000 so here p2010 is equals to 45000 plus n number of decades so here from 2000 to 2010 how many decades obviously one decade so here a value of n will be one okay into i which is average increase in population which came out to be 4375 okay so 45000 plus 1 into 4375 we get the value as 49375 okay this is our answer for the year 2010 now similarly we will be calculating the value for the year 2020 in the question it is asked to calculate the population for 2010 2020 2030 and 50 the next step will be calculating the population of 2020 again the same formula p plus ni now please uh, pay attention this is where i have seen students make mistakes here the mistake what they do is here the value of p they take it as population of 2010 which is 49375 and it's wrong the formula it is given that p is the last known population which is the given data the last known population is of the year 2000 which is 45000 here students make mistakes and they take p as population of 2010 this is not the known data this is just a probable value that we have forecasted so here again the value of p will be 45000 which is the last known population plus n into i n here the number of decades will be 2 because 220 because 2020 
to 2000 there are two decades so again n will be 2 into average increase in population i i will remain the same 4375 if we do the calculation the value which we get is 53750 this is the population for the year 2020 okay now the third year which is given is 2030 using the same formula we will be forecasting the population for the year 2030 i'll just write it over here third is population for the year 2030 again p plus n into i p is the last known population from the given data which is for the year 2000 it is 45,000 respectively. Again, 45,000 plus n into i. Here, the value of n will be now 3 because 2030 to 2000, which is 3 decades. 3 into 4375. Now, if we solve this, we get, let's just see, 45,000 plus 3 into 4375. 58,125 okay so the population for the year 2030 will be 58,125 now the last part of the numerical they have asked us to find out the population for the year 2050 so let's proceed towards that p 2050 is equals to p plus n into i now here is the tricky part for p2050 the last known value will be same 45000 because the last known population as per the given data is 45000 of the year 2000 plus n into i here n will be 5 they have asked us for 2030 and then they have directly skipped to 2050 so after 3 the value will be 5 because 2050 minus 2000 there are 5 decades here the value of n will be 5 the average increase in population will be same 4375 so here we get the answer as 66875 population for the year 2050 is 66875 okay the numerical is complete we were given a certain data and from that data you were asked to find out the population of a particular year using arithmetic increase method this method is quite simple and quick but it is not used more because of its uh, demerits that it always yields low lowest value and it is mainly used for settled cities The formula is simple p n is equals to p plus n i while uh, checking the answer sheets majority of the students make mistakes in selecting the value of p what students do for p 2010 they take the value of p as 45000 which is correct which is the last known data but for the next years that is 2020 they take the value of p as 49375 which is wrong Again, for the year 2030, they take the value of P as 53,750, which is wrong. As per this method, the value of P will be the last known population from the given data, which is 45,000. I hope uh, this is clear. If there is any doubt, please let me know in the comment section. As said earlier, I will be solving the, the same numerical by different methods in my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. If you understood this tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.